Virgin to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Now Mary, the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it thou unto me according to thy word. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Spurges me domine hisopo et mundabur, lavabis me et supernibam de albabur. Miseleri me deus secundum magnum misericordiam tuam. Gloria Patri, Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Asperges me domine hisopo et mundabur, lavabis me et supernibam de albabur. Ostente nobis domine misericordiam tuam. Et salutare tuum da nobis, domine gaudio azione mea, et clamomeo in sante veriatia. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, orde vos. Exaudi nos domine sante pater onnipotente tene Deus, et miteri tineri sanctum angelum tuum de cedis, qui custodia et fogea et protega et visita et arque defenda et omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. In tua volatale Dei, ed in cui di tutti che aiuto in tutto meum, sui nomi dei sedici non cadono meum dei centri non sancti, ave nomine nel nocolo del vostro orrone. Qui tu vesti un suoti tutto meum, fuori dei prodissi e fuori fissi in cielo, di tutti i gemelli tu vesti. E mi te luce in tua verità, in tua musica, e tu sarò per tutto il terno, in mondo un santo in forma di tabernacca la tua. Et in tua volatale Dei, ed in cui di tutti che aiuto in tutto meum. Confite con te vincita la Deus Deus meus, sui tristi animali, e quale con tu vas me. Spera in Deo con e vai tocco per te con i, salutare vultus me e Deus meus. Gloria, Patria e Filio e Spirito e Santo, si poterà tu di principio e nunca e sempre, e di secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volatari dei, ed in cui ti fica il giù in tutto meo. Audi por nostro in nome di Domini, in cui feci cielo e terra. Confiti o Deo onnipotente, via tu Maria, senti di Gesù, via tu Santa Maria, Gesù, via tu Anna Battista, i Santi Porti, i Santi Paolo, via tu Anna Maria, via tu Anna Maria, i Santi Giovi, i Fratelli, qui è per la venire in tua generazione, per voi popoli, me o culpa, 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 e io prego, via tu Anna Maria, un Dio Virgine, via tu Anna Maria, Santi, via tu Anna Battista, un Santo Sposo, Spetro, e poi via tu Anna Maria, via tu Anna Santo Sposo, a te, non la ricomendo, non la ricomendo, Miseria tu trini tu tenes Deisum, spetati tu i tu te per vita da terra. Amen. Confiti, o Deo, uomini potenti, Beati Maria, sempre Virgini, Beato Michele, Arcangelo, Beato Ioanni, Battiste, Santi, Sepostoli, Spetro e Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis, Divi Pater, Qui è per tal venire in scogitazione, Vevo e Popole, Me o culpa, me o culpa, Me la massima culpa, Ili o prego Beata Maria Lucente Virginem, Beati Michael Marcangelo, Beati Ioan Battista, Santos Apostolos Petru et Paolo, Omnes Santos et Te Pate, Or lave con me, ad Omnum Deo Nostro. Miseriato Deus, mi potenes Deus, si tu ispetati te, si ispetu te, quasi vita me tamo. Amen. In urgenza, in mestruzione, in mestruzione, per che torno a suoro, in tribi, vai con me, torni potente, in tere cotonis. Amen. Deus tu conversus per giudicare dis nas, e plens tu elettabitor in te. Ostente nomis domine misericordiam tuam, 
et salutare tuum vermibus, Domine Claudio Ratione Meo, et Carmomerus et Eterna, Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, Orde. Sacerdote te benedicite dominum sancte et umile et corde laudate deum. Benedicite omni opere domini domino laudate et supre sultate eum in secula. Gloria a Patria e Filio et Spiritu e Santo, sicut era in principio et nunc et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Sacerdote te benedicite dominum sancte et umile et corde laudate deum. Kyria et Aessan, Kyria et Aessan, Kyria et Aessan, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison, Kyria eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax ominibus bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias a Jesus te vibrote mando in gloria in tua. Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fili Unigenite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus Omnius Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolis peccato mundi in misericordia nobis, qui tolis peccato mundi in suscipe e deprecazione nostra, qui se desit exterem Patris, misericordia nobis. Gloria a tu solus Sanctus, tu solus Dominus, tu solus Altissimus, Iesu Christe, Cum Santo Spiritu in Gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Ex Ovobis et Cum Spirito Tuo. Orde Mu. Deus, qui nostri azzi blasi i martiri sui atque pontificis animo solemnitati letificas, concedi propizius, ut cuius natalizia conimus Deus de mezziam protezione gadeavus. Per Domino nostrum, Iesu Christum, Filium Tu, qui tecum vivit a regna ad unilitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per nomia secula seculorum. Amen. Orde Deus. Deus, qui nos in tantis periculis constitutus, pro humana scis fragilitate non posse subsistere, Dan nobis salutem mentis e corpus, ut eet que pro peccatis nostis patimur, te gluvante vincavus. Per Domino nostro, Iesum Christum Filium Tu, qui te conviuta regna ad unilitatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex Epistole Beati Paolo Apostoli et Corinthios. Frates, benedictus Deus et Pate Domini nostri, Iesu Christi, Pate misericordiarum et Deus totius consolationis, qui consolatum nos in omni tribulazione nostra, ut possimus in ipsi consolare eus, qui in omni presura sunt per exaltatione un quadrix del cor more rexia Deo. Quoniam sicur abundan passiones Christi in nobis, inter et per Christum abundan consolatio nostra. Si ve autum tribulamo pro veste exaltatione et salute, si ve consolamo pro veste consolatione, si vi exaltamur pro vestu exaltatione et salute, quae operatu tolerantia mariavum e arundem passionum, quas et nos patimur, uns ves nostre firmes et provobis, scientes consigut soci passionem estis, si veritis et consolationis, in Christo Iesu Domino nostro. Deo gratias, gloria et honor de coronasti eum, et constituiste eum super opera manium tuarum Domino. Alleluia, alleluia, hic esse cedos quem coronavit in Dominus. Alleluia. Domino suo viscum, et cum spirito tuo, sequentia sancti vangelii secundum Matteum. Gloria, tibi Domine, in illo tempore desit Iesus discipris suis, si quis vultos me venire, e amnige semit ipsum, et volet crucem suam e sequatur me, 
We are in Bunny Wedding Pani Mum Swan Sangam Pachadain Peridi Dayam. We are out in Peggy Dairy Pani Mum Swan Prokadain Venia Dayam. We are in Prodes Harmony, Simundi Muni Vesum Lucretur, Anime Verus Soy de Clementum Patiatur. Out quam David Homo Commutatione for Anima Sua. Filius enim hominis venturus est in gloria patis suis cum angelis suis, et cum gretit uniquique secundum opera eis. Laus, Filius. On this feast of Saint Blaise in the commemoration of the fourth Sunday after Epiphany. The epistle is taken from the second letter of St Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God who gives all encouragement. He it is who comforts us in all our trials, and it is this encouragement we ourselves receive from God which enables us to comfort others whenever they have trials of their own. The sufferings of Christ, it is true, overflow into our lives, but there is overflowing comfort too, which Christ brings to us. Have we trials to endure? It all makes for your encouragement, for your salvation. Are we comforted? It is so that you may be comforted. Are we encouraged? It is for your encouragement, for your salvation. And the effect of this appears in your willingness to undergo the sufferings we too undergo, making our hopes of you all the more confident. Partners of our sufferings, you will be partners of our encouragement too, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St Matthew. At this time Jesus said to his disciples, If any man has a mind to come my way, let him renounce himself, take up his cross and follow me. The man who tries to save his life shall lose it. It is the man who loses his life for my sake that will secure it. How is a man the better for it if he gains the whole world at the cost of losing his own soul? For a man's soul, what price can be high enough? The Son of Man will come hereafter in his Father's glory with his angels about him, and he will recompense everyone then according to his works. And the proper last gospel for the fourth Sunday after Epiphany is also a continuation of that according to St Matthew. At this time Jesus took ship and his disciples followed him and suddenly a great storm arose on the sea so that the waves rose high over the ship but he lay asleep and his disciples came and roused him crying Lord save us we are sinking but Jesus said to them why are you faint-hearted men of little faith then he rose up and checked the winds and the sea and there was a deep calm so that all asked in amazement, what kind of man is this who is obeyed even by the winds and the sea? How merry for the grace of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Holy for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory back in Sephiria, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass. As we said on this, the Feast of St. Blaise, Bishop of Sebast and Martyr. And we commemorate today the fourth Sunday post-Epiphany. It's not often that St. Blaise's Day falls on a Sunday. And uh, it's not often that uh, we're able to uh, celebrate St. Blaise with, with any great solemnity uh, in the uh, modern calendar that other people use. Uh, he is reduced to only a memoria, uh, just a commemoration. And even in traditional circles, uh, his feast day after uh, Pius X was downgraded and downgraded again, uh, so that it is only us, uh, real diehards of tradition, uh, that keep his feast with any uh, kind of uh, solemnity. So Blaise's name, of course, you may recall from what will occur at the end of Mass, uh, the blessing of candles and throats. Uh, but we'll come to why uh, that is so in a few moments. Uh, what We don't know an awful lot about St Blaise, uh, but what we do know, uh, according to tradition, 
uh, at least from the 8th century, is that he uh, was born uh, at the end of the 3rd century uh, to rich Christian uh, parents in Armenia or Lower Armenia. Uh, now that probably means nothing to anyone very much today uh, because at the turn of the last century uh, Armenia and the Armenians were more or less wiped out uh, by the Ottoman Empire. Uh, but if I say central Anatolia or if I were to say Cappadocia which is a more ancient name it is uh, uh, central north Turkey we might say a few hundred miles north of Antioch. Antioch is situated right down in the very south of uh, Turkey, where Turkey meets uh, Syria. Uh, there uh, is Antioch to the extreme. So if Antioch's down here, uh, in the extreme southwest uh, are Ephesus and Laodicea and Hierapolis uh, and uh, those other uh, famous churches of the early church and then above here sort of here is Sebast and there is Cappadocia he was born to as I say uh, Christian parents and he was fortunate uh, in uh, to grow up in a, in a relative time of peace and able to study philosophy though it actually was medicine that he eventually professed as uh, a physician then he discovered, or um, not discovered, sorry, then he discerned a vocation to a higher calling, we might say, to the sacred ministry, and indeed was uh, acclaimed uh, as a bishop of Sebast. Then came uh, a great period of persecution, the great persecution under Diocletian, the last of the great persecutions before the peace of Constantine. And so uh, this is around, and this, this actually was towards the very end uh, of uh, the persecution. That is to say that uh, the, um, uh, as it were, the official persecution had already by this time ended uh, with, the, with the arrival of Constantine around uh, 312 uh, to 314. Uh, whereas in the far-flung places of the empire, we might say, it was still raging and certainly in 316 in uh, Sebastian Cappadocia uh, Christianity was still being uh, uh, outlawed and Christians being arrested. So he took himself out of Sebast uh, when, the when the persecutions began uh, to dwell in a cave. Now he, he didn't, uh, he wasn't deserting his post, uh, he simply uh, left uh, the city, uh, but was still visited uh, by the faithful uh, in his cave. And there too, uh, he was uh, surrounded by uh, wild beasts uh, whom, who became tame in his presence. There are all sorts of uh, miraculous stories about uh, the wild beasts and, uh, uh, and our saint. But eventually his cover was blown uh, he was discovered by a hunting party because uh, they had been uh, tracking a heart. Uh, the heart had found and sought uh, uh, safety with some blaze. And of course the hunters then discovered the bishop. They reported him then to the authorities and so he was frog marched back to Sebast to face trial. Uh, there uh, he was uh, sentenced uh, variously to starvation and uh, then to scourging and eventually to beheading. But on the route to uh, his trial, uh, various of the faithful uh, came out to greet him, uh, to seek his blessing uh, on his journey and to uh, uh, some of them to acquire uh, some healing. And so it was that a woman appeared with a little boy who ha was literally choking from a fishbone. So Blaise made the sign of the cross, prayed a prayer, and the boy was released from the fishbone uh, in his throat and able to breathe. And it is for that reason that today, at the end of Mass, we traditionally bless throats.
St. Lay is also one of the 14 Holy Helpers. The 14 Holy Helpers include saints such as St. Barbara, St. Uh, Christopher, uh, St. Joan of Arc, uh, various uh, saints noted uh, for their effective intercession uh, regarding healing uh, or other forms of assistance, but mostly healing. Uh, they were particularly invoked uh, during the Great Black Death or the Great Plague uh, that at one time uh, variously uh, um, uh, affected uh, Europe uh, during the Middle Ages. And uh, St. Blaise's prayers or the intercession of St. Blaise uh, were considered most effective against some of the symptoms of the plague. The Black Death, one of the symptoms was that people's tongues turned black, black spots and other things appeared, uh, and uh, it really was a, a most foul and, and terrible uh, way of, of dying. But uh, the intercession of the 14 Holy Helpers, as we say, seemed to assist and to relieve at least some of the symptoms of those who contracted it. Uh, the death, the Black Death or the, or the plague um, uh, wiped out, decimated indeed, um, most of Europe um, at its height. And there are still um, uh, memorials, we might say, to this day uh, of its effect. For example, uh, not far from here, um, uh, near Lansing College, um, at some, there's a little place called St Botos um, and uh, the church there which is along uh, the River Ada at uh, one time of course there would have been uh, a, a hamlet and indeed at one time it was a thriving uh, village until the Black Death and all that remains now is the parish church. So we pray today uh, for, uh, we give thanks today for the uh, life and witness of St. Blaise. Uh, we give uh, thanks uh, for uh, his legend, for we give thanks for the testimony of his life and uh, for his intercession all these centuries since. We also pray for uh, the remnants of those Armenian Christians uh, who, are, who, who, are, who were genocidally decimated at the turn of the last century. And we remember all those uh, Christians, our brothers and sisters in the faith, enduring persecution in other places and parts of the world. The Sundays after Epiphany continue, of course, the theme of manifestation and of revelation. And in today's Gospel for the fourth Sunday, uh, we hear about our Lord calming the storm, demonstrating, manifesting, revealing, he again, his divinity, that he has power over the elements, has power over the weather, has power over the sea and the waves. Can we too, my brothers and sisters, in our own turn, as we reflected yesterday on the Feast of the Purification of Candlemas, we too, of course, are uh, like St. Blaise and all Christians throughout the centuries to manifest Christ to our world. And indeed, I just want to repeat uh, some of the epistle given for today's Mass for St. Blaise. Brethren, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God who gives all encouragement. He it is who comforts us in all our trials, and it is this encouragement we ourselves receive from God which enables us to comfort others whenever they have trials of their own. The sufferings of Christ, it is true, overflow into our lives, but there is overflowing comfort too, which Christ brings to us. Have we trials to endure? It all makes for your encouragement, for your salvation. Are we comforted? It is so that you may be comforted. Are we encouraged? It is for your encouragement, for your salvation. And the effect of this appears in your willingness to undergo the sufferings we too undergo, making our hopes of you all the more confident. Partners of our sufferings, you will be partners of our encouragement too, in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is, I think, a beautiful epistle. 
and sums up particularly one of the ways in which we, my brothers and sisters, as Christians in our world, can manifest and reveal that light of hope which is Christ in our lives and in the lives of others. St Paul here, of course, is referring to the trials and tribulations that he was enduring for the sake of the gospel and that others too were enduring. And the same is true for us today. While we seem to be living in relative peace here in the West, we know that Christians in other parts of the world, particularly in Asia, particularly in Africa, particularly in the Middle East, are suffering for our faith in Christ. But we know too, of course, that suffering goes on around us here in our local communities. We know that suffering is manifested in despair, in desolation. It is manifested in those who are homeless, those who are poor, those who are imprisoned by vice, by addiction, by alcoholism, by narcotics. And two, true, others who are in prison by vice like pornography, like uh, gaming, like uh, social media. Those who are imprisoned by virtual reality. And all of this really we might sum up as escapism. People generally speaking are seeking to are finding life so hard and so difficult that they fall into the traps of these routes of escape and become then isolated by them, become increasingly cut off. Somebody who is in the, uh, who is deeply uh, affected by addiction often uh, becomes isolated from family and friends, isolated from society. And as I say, we can see the same symptoms, not just amongst those who are alcoholics or suffering with, uh, from narcoticism, but also with those uh, in virtual reality, trapped, enclosed in virtual realities. We're all guilty of it. We all sit in groups, supposedly having coffee and uh, looking at the flashing screens on our phones. If you go out into the street, you will see various people walking along, looking at their phones. And all of it really is a form of escapism. Now, as with anything, there can be good uh, with technology and with invention. See, on the other hand, there is the opportunity, the ability with smartphones, etc., to be able to uh, research and learn about all sorts of useful things on the internet. Indeed, we can read the scriptures, we can read the writings of the early church fathers, we can read the lives of the saints, we can read the doctrines of the church, we can read today's mass. There are all sorts of useful things we can use uh, these technologies for. And always, of course, it's about uh, finding and striking a balance with the utilization of these things. At the end of today's Mass, we're going to use a sacramental. A sacramental, not a sacrament, but a sacramental. Whereas a sacrament uh, signifies and proclaims the grace that it is uh, guaranteed to bestow, so for example, baptism uh, bestows the grace, of course, of Salvation, the sacrament of penance, uh, bestows uh, forgiveness in absolution. The sacrament of uh, holy order, of course, uh, bestows ordination, the, sac the, uh, the sacred ministry. These are guaranteed means by which we know God's grace is assured and becomes operative. Sacramentals, on the other hand, are instituted by the church after the model of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, of course, in instituting, instituting the sacraments, uh, uses um, everyday things uh, and uh, gives them a particular and special pur <coughs> purpose 
which then guarantees grace. With sacramentals, the church similarly takes everyday things and blesses them in the hope that, uh, some, that we will be able to cooperate with God's grace. Sacraments contain grace. Sacramentals are a means to grace or a means of uh, uh, employing grace. They are a way for us to cooperate with God's grace. Now, of course, examples of sacramentals occur in Scripture, uh, in the, particularly in the miracles of our Lord, for example, uh, like when he uh, moulds clay uh, to heal someone, when he sticks his fingers in somebody's ear to heal someone, uh, when he heals someone by touch, when he heals someone by breathing on them, when he heals someone by word, when he heals someone by will. Uh, in all sorts of ways, uh, we have examples of sacramentals of our Lord taking ordinary objects and using them for extraordinary means. In like fashion then, so we use uh, sacramentals in the life of the church. Sacramentals then are things like holy water, uh, blessed crosses and crucifixes and rosaries, uh, ashes on Ash Wednesday, palms on Palm Sunday, and yesterday, of course, candles at Candlemas. These things have been blessed and set apart, uh, again, usually for a particular purpose, uh, usually to, as a way of uh, reminding us of God's power and effect and presence in our lives. The light of the candles yesterday reminding us of the light of Christ that dispels darkness and brings hope to those who despair. We remembered yesterday that we are called to be lights to the world and, and to go into the world and share the light of Christ. But in order to do that sometimes we might ourselves need to remember uh, God's presence in our lives and his power and effect. So that, at the end of today's Mass, we will bless uh, two candles which will then be uh, uh, made into a cross shape uh, and used to bless throats. Now, uh, we're not saying that uh, these candles themselves have, by our blessing, become uh, uh, inherently holy. <coughs> of themselves and we're not saying that these candles of themselves can heal throats that would be superstition that would be uh, 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 blasphemy that would be nonsense rather what we're saying is that uh, through the intercession on this occasion of St Blaise uh, through our prayer we are praying that by being touched by these candles we may be healed from and protected from uh, diseases and ailments of the throat. And likewise, in like fashion, my brothers and sisters, uh, when we employ other sacramentals, like for example rosaries or blessed crucifixes and crosses, or indeed holy water, uh, we need to be uh, sure and have clear in our minds uh, the correct and proper use of them. You know, Holy Mother Church is not suggesting necessarily that these objects themselves contain power, but is saying that the use of them may affect God's power, having been blessed and having had God's power invoked upon them. And this is why uh, we treat sacramentals uh, with respect. This is why. Um, uh, for example, often uh, I am given uh, rosaries and crucifixes and um, Bibles and things uh, when people have died. Uh, it's not so often, sad to say, but it um, uh, used to be the case that uh, undertakers or those who would do house clearances, uh, these sort of religious objects, uh, if there was no family for them to be handed on to or if the family didn't want them, uh, then they would be taken to churches that would be given uh, to priests uh, rather than uh, be destroyed or be uh, casually thrown away because people recognise that these things are no longer just ordinary, they are holy, um, they have been, been blessed, they have been set apart. 
But in like fashion too, my brothers and sisters, are we sacramentals. Indeed, we have been blessed and set apart. We in, uh, have been, by virtue of our baptism, set apart. Uh, by, uh, we have become citizens of heaven. We are exiles from heaven here on earth. Uh, but similarly too, we are sacramentals because uh, in the pursuance of holiness uh, and in various ways through the liturgical life of the church, we are blessed innumerable times. We uh, receive blessings at the end of services, at the end of mass. Uh, we receive uh, blessings like today of the throats and other things. Uh, blessing of, of Christ himself in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament of Benediction. And of course, when we receive the Holy Eucharist, we become then sacramentals, as it were, uh, of God's presence in us. And indeed, my brothers and sisters, we should think of ourselves as sacramentals. Perhaps thinking of ourselves as sacramentals, as Christians, may prevent us from, all, from falling into that despair, falling into that desperation, falling into that escapism and that virtual reality that others do. Perhaps if we remembered that we are blessed, that we have been set apart for God's service, that we are like a blessed crucifix or holy water, or blessed candles, or ashes, or palms, that we are no longer just ordinary human beings, but we have been blessed for God's purpose. We have been set apart. We have been made holy and are being made holy. Every time we are blessed, every time we receive the Eucharist, every time we are absolved, we are being made holy. And that, my brothers and sisters, the remembrance of that should help us to maintain that holiness. And sacramentals are given as a way of reminding us of holiness and thus reminding us, hopefully, of our own holiness and the pursuit of holiness. Let us then, my brothers and sisters, let us then remember God's power in Christ. Power that such as manifested in him to calm storms, to uh, control the weather, to command the weather even, as well as to effect healing and miracles. But let us remember that we too have a similar ability by asking and praying for God's power and effect in our lives and in the lives of others. And that we too are called to be sacramentals, tools and instruments of God's will and purpose in the world. Blessed to be blessed, made holy to become holy, and indeed by sanctifying our lives, seeking to sanctify the world around us. And in so doing, manifesting the light of Christ to dispel darkness and gloom and despair. And instead to radiate our Christian hope, the knowledge of our love, the knowledge of God's love for us. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Corredo in unum Deum, Patre omnipotentem, Facorum celi et tele, 
Visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum nominum Jesu Christum Filio Deum Unigenitum, et ex patrin antum antri omnia secula, Deum de Deo, Lumen de Lumine, Deum Verum de Deo Vero, Genitum non factum consustantianem patri, Tecum omnia factus sum, qui propte nos homines e propte nos un salutem de scendit e celis, et in tan atmus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Digne, et homo factus est. Crucifixus est siam pro nobis Pontio Pilatum passus et sepultus est, et resurrexit tresit die secundus scripturas, et descendit in celum sedere et exeram patris. Et iterum venturus est con gloria uditare vivos et mortuos, cuius reni loreri crimis. Et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patri procedi, qui con patri et filio semelador et nore con glorificatur cui locutus est per profetas. Et unam, sanctam, catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, quam fiti unum baptismo in missione peccatorum, et ex spectro resurrectione mortuorum, et vitam in turni seculi. Amen. In Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spirito Tuo. Arde Vos. In veni David servum meum, voleo sancto meum sieum, Manus enim meam saliabit o re, et brachium meam confortabit ei.
saecula saeculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, et cum spirito tuo, sus un corda, arengus et dominum, gracias gamus domino Deo nostro. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ. Le dignum et justum et saeculum et salutare. Nos tibi sempre dubi quae gracias agere, Domine Sancte Pater, onipotenza et aere temis. Qui cum unigenito Filio tuo et Spiritus Sancto, unes est Deus, unes est Dominus. Non in unis in lagritate persona, in sed in unis genitante substantia. Quod enim de tua gloria, velanti te credimus, hoc de Filio tuo, hoc de Spiritus Sancto, si le differenzia de scherzioni sentibus. Ut confessione vae sancte naicae de aetatis, et di personis mofretas, et in essentia unitas, et in maestate et oretur qualitas. Quam laudent angeli atque et angeli cerat un coca et serafim, qui non cessan clamare quotidie, una voce dicente. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis un celi et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui benedicti nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis.
Club foi perto da tua origem. Secura, seculo Amen. Amen. Ordemus. Recepi salutari bus mores in divin instruzione formati. Allemus dice. Padre nostro, ad qui es in cieli, santificei tu nome tu, nai veni ad regum tu, feculum tas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostro, in quadriano de nobis odie, dimite nobis debita nostra, sicure nos dimitimus debitoribus nostis. Rende nos in ducas in tentazione. Se libra nostra male. Per la mia secula seculorum. Amen. Presso Domini sit sempero vobiscu. Et in spirito tuo. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi e misedere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi e misedere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tale speccato mundi e donne nobis.
ecce amius Dei, ecce quitalit peccatum. Un domine non slimus ut intra et sotecum eo, sent antum de gruembo et sent nabitur anima mea. Domine non slimus ut intra et sotecum eo, sent antum de gruembo et sent nabitur anima mea. Un domine non slimus ut intra et sotecum eo, sent antum de gruembo et sent nabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen. Amen. Un 
nomino suaviscum et cum spirito tuo. Amen. Et nos communio domine poget a crimine, et in precedente beato Blasio Matire tuatque pontificit, pontifice, celestis me medi facet et te consorte. Per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Filio tu, qui te cum de veda regna ad unenetati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordemus. Mudra tua nos Deus et electat di oribus terrenis expedian, et celestibus semper in sauret alimentis. Per Domino nostrum, Iesum Christum Filio tu, qui te cum de vita regna ad unenitatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per Romia secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. Domino suo viscum, e con spirito tuo, ite misais, neo gratia. In nome Domine Benedictum, ex hoc nunc dusque in secula, auto cor in nostro vi Domine Domini, cui feci cerem et teram, in benedicat vos omnipotent Deus. Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. In Domino Suo Piscum, e con Spirito Tuo, sequenzie Santi Vangeli, secondo Matteo, gloria a Dio di Domine. Ed in autempre ascendente Iesu in avicolam, secusi sum Deum discipoli eis, e dece motus malius faltus est in mare, id vorut in avicola e operetur fructibus, in severo domeabat, e dece sero te Deum discipoli eus e suscitat verum Deum dicentes, Domine, salva nos, perimus, e dici des, Iesus, qui timidi estis, non dice fidei. Dunc suo scienze per David ventis et mari, et facta est tranquillitas magna, porro homines milati sum dicentes, qualis estit qui ardenti et mare obediunt ei? Deo grazia. God save Elizabeth, our Queen, and graciously hear us when we call upon thee. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for thy servant Elizabeth, our Queen, upon whom thy mercy has laid the government of this kingdom. May she be given still greater measure of every virtue. Thus worthily adorned, may she turn aside from all wickedness. May she overcome her enemies, and with her consort and the royal family, may she come at last in grace to thee, the way, the truth, and the life. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, most powerful and most kind, you created all the different things in the world by the word alone and willed that this word by which all things were made should become incarnate for the remaking of mankind. You are great and limitless, worthy of reverence and praise, the worker of wonders. For your sake, the glorious martyr and bishop St. Blaise, joyfully gained the palm of martyrdom, never shrinking from any kind of torture in confessing his faith in you. And you gave to him, among other gifts, the prerogative of curing by your power every ailment of men's throats. Humbly we beg you in your majesty not to look upon our guilt, but pleased by his merits and prayers in your awe-inspiring kindness, to bless this wax created by you and to sanctify it, pouring into it your grace 
May all who in good faith have their throats touched by this wax be freed from every ailment of the throat through the merit of his suffering, and in good health and spirits give thanks to you and your holy church. And praise your glorious name, which is blessed for ever and ever through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of Saints Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from ailments of the throat and from every other evil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Through the intercession of Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver you from ailments of the throat and from every other evil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 